curb flashing, U5B, option one. There are some instances where it may not be possible to use Carlisle's pressure sensitive curb flashings, such as when a curb is over 13 inches in height. When this occurs, Carlisle recommends utilizing cured EPDM membrane in conjunction with three inch secure tape. This process begins with the proper securement of the membrane. Measure the perimeter of the curb and add a minimum of four inches. To determine the width of the flashing, add a minimum of three inches from the edge of the securement extending to the top of the curb. This curb will require a continuous piece of cured membrane approximately 16 inches wide by 76 inches long. To determine the location of your vertical splice, mark the end of the membrane at 4 inches to achieve a minimum 3 inch splice. To determine the location of your deck splice, mark the membrane at 5 inches. Bonding adhesive is applied at the rate of 60 square feet per gallon of finished surface. Do not apply bonding adhesive in the splice areas. Apply EPDM primer to the deck membrane. When using pre-cleaned membrane, primer may be roller applied. Allow the primer to dry. Position the secure tape three inches away from the securement point. Apply hand pressure to the tape to remove trapped air. Apply bonding adhesive to the curb. Allow the bonding adhesive to flash off until it passes the tack test. Position the flashing starting at an outside corner. Pull light tension on the flashing and wrap it around the curb. Cut and remove the excess material at the vertical splice. Cut the vertical splice diagonally. Apply EPDM primer to the flashing. When using pre-cleaned membrane, primer may be roller applied. Allow the primer to dry. Cut the membrane at the corners down to the deck. Lay the membrane onto the clear poly and check the splice edge to ensure that the tape will be exposed. Trim the membrane back to allow for a 1 8 inch minimum to a half inch maximum exposure of tape. Round the corners of the membrane. Peel off the clear poly from the secure tape and mate the surfaces together by applying hand pressure towards the outside edge of the splice. Roll all splice areas with a two inch wide roller. Prime both sides of the splice area and allow to dry. Place a section of three inch secure tape on the flashing. If necessary, trim the flashing so that one eighth to a half inch of the tape is exposed. Complete the corners following the U15C or PS15F details.